Hello and welcome to this SAS edition to lecture four where we talked about contrast, specifically pre-planned contrast. And I say pre-planned because you really must pre-plan these. This is not exploratory. If you want exploratory, do the post hoc test that we did back in part three or lecture three. If you have hypotheses before you start the analysis, this is what you would use. Um, so let's begin. SAS. Nine four. Uh, whatever. And I'm going to use the bacteria data set again. Again, I'm copying and pasting. Um, note that we're starting out essentially where we started out in lecture three. I'm going to run this just to see it. Again, lecture three, uh, end of lecture two, and the start of lecture three, and the start of this lecture, we conclude that there is a difference. Now, if we wanted to determine which is different, that is, that we're coming into this kind of surprise that there's a difference, or we didn't expect to see a difference, or we had no clue if there was going to be a difference or not, that is, if we're just exploring the relationships here and not trying to draw any uh, fundamental conclusions, we'd use the post hoc test from last time. Today we're going to be doing pre-planned testing. So the first step in pre-planned testing is to come up with those hypotheses. And then you run the analysis of variance. And if the analysis of variance p-value, where I'm pointing at right here, is greater than alpha, then all of your pre-planned hypotheses are going to be no different, uh, or null hypotheses are not going to be rejected. Because um, you just detected no, no difference if the p-value here is greater than alpha. If it is less than alpha, then you can go ahead with your pre-planned testing. So hypotheses come first, then the ANOVA test, and then the contrasts. So the way that we do this is with the contrast statement. There we go. So contrast statement. Um, the first thing you can give it is a, a name for this contrast for when you print it out. Um, so we're going to do our first one. It's going to be plastic versus artificial uh, gases. So this is going to be level, essentially level one versus the average of the other three levels. The next thing that you give it is the, depend, uh, the uh, independent variable, the grouping variable. And then you give the contrast. Um, one, negative one third, negative one third, negative one third, semicolon. Now the number of spaces between is completely up to you. I strongly suggest being consistent. I tend to put uh, two just out of habit. And we do need to have this many threes simply because if we have fewer than, uh, than SAS, we're going to say, wait a minute, this is not a contrast because these four numbers do not add up to zero. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Here's the ANOVA table, usual output. Here's the contrast table. One degree of freedom, there's the contrast sum of squares, the mean squares for the contrast. We calculated these on the board, I believe. Uh, notice that since there is one degree of freedom, the contrast and the mean squares are, I mean, sorry, the sum of squares and the mean squares are going to be the same. The F value, that's pretty high. So we reject the null hypothesis that the plastic, the plastic mean log count of bacteria is equal to the average of the other three mean log counts of bacteria. So in other words, we rejected the hy null hypothesis that this average is equal to the average of these three. Not too surprising. We don't know, I mean, from, from the picture we do know that this is the packet plastic is going to be higher 
than the average of the other three, but from this line, we don't know that. We only know that they are different. Um, one way to get those estimates is instead of using the contrast statement, you'd use the estimate statement. So actually what I'm going to do is run contrast statement and an estimate statement, and we'll compare the output. So here's the contrast statement up here, or the results of that contrast statement. Here's the results of the estimate statement. Estimate statement gives you that estimate, which we calculated. The estimate statement is based on t values. Um, t squared, square this 9.28, and you'll get the 86.19. These p values will be the same, by the way. So if you want to get the estimate, then you would use the estimate statement. Now, realize that, that estimate is positive, And we've rejected the null hypothesis that the mean for plastic is equal to the mean of the other three put together. And since this is positive, that means that we can now conclude that the mean for the plastic is higher than the average of the other three means. So plastic versus non-plastic stuff, and since we want low values here because it counts the bacteria, we would prefer not plastic to plastic because it's higher. Let's do another contrast. Um, there's four levels, so we can have three, um, uh, three independent contrasts. So let's go ahead and do those. Um, we'll still call this one, and I'm actually going to change the estimate into a two. Um, so we'll do plastic versus artificial, then vacuum um, versus the gases. Again, it's going to be package. That's a zero because that first column is for plastic. This is going to be this is going to be a one and then a negative 0 0.5 and a negative 0 0.5. Again, we had to notice that this adds up to 1. Therefore, it is a contrast. I'm actually going to put a lot of spaces in here just so we can see that these are going to be orthogonal contrasts. So 1 times 0 plus 1 times negative 1 third plus negative 0.5 times negative 1 third plus negative 0.5 times negative 1 third. That adds up to, z that, that equals 0. So therefore, these two contrasts are orthogonal. And let's put the last one in there. Um, this is also, this is going to be what's left. I think it's CO2 versus mixed gases. Now let's double check that this is a contrast. Well, add up 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus negative 1, and it equals 0. Therefore, it's a contrast. Let's prove that th this is orthogonal to the other two. Well, it's orthogonal to the second, because 0 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times negative 1 half plus negative 1 times 1 half equals 0. And it's orthogonal to the first, because 0 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1 third plus 1 times negative 1 third plus negative 1 times negative 1 third also equals 0. In fact, I'm also going to do th these as estimate statements. And again, so we can see the differences. And for no apparent reason, other than it'll make the output a little bit easier for us to decide, okay, where did these things come from? I'll change these all to twos. So let's run this, see what we get. We get a table of all the contrast things and a table of all the estimate things. So there's plastic versus artificial. Notice nothing's changed from the last. Vacuum versus gases. 
Uh, that p value is greater than alpha, therefore we did not detect a difference in the average of vacuum versus the average of the other two gases. And CO2 versus mixed gases, yeah, we detected a, a difference. We really detected a difference. That's a really big F value. Notice three degrees of freedom. That equals these three degrees of freedom here. If, yeah. Here are the estimates. Standard errors, T values. Again, if you score the T value, you'll get the F value up here. Only because the degrees of freedom here are one. And then the P values for this table will equal the P values up here. So that estimate gives you essentially the same information as the contrast statement, but it also gives you that value for L hat. There is one thing that I'm supposed to show you, but I don't want to. But I'm going to do it anyway. Remember this one third thing up here? We had to carry it out to six decimal places. But well, we could also have this contrast as 3, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. That also is a contrast, without question. And this contrast descri describes the same difference, uh, the same contrast as this. So if we do a contrast here, we should get the same value because there's no difference between these two contrasts. I'm going to call that 3 just so we keep things straight. But if we do estimates, such will not be the case. Because for an estimate, this estimate is going to be twice this, because we multiplied through by a 2. So let's run that. Here are the contrasts. So we did the multiplying through by 3 to make it easier with the contrast, this line and this line should all be the same. Because the contrast looks at sums of squares, not at estimates. Whereas when we do it down here, vacuum versus gases, vacuum versus gases, remember the second one we multiplied through by 2. So it's 2, negative 1, negative 1 instead of 1, negative half, negative half. So this estimate it's going to be twice this estimate, which means the standard error is going to be twice because the t-value can't change and the p-values can't change. So if you really do hate typing out the fractions or the, the decimal form, you can do it in this format. However, if you do it in this format, keep aware that your estimate, and it is just the estimate, is going to be off by a factor of 2. Unless you add one more thing to this. And it's going to be an option. And you specify what that divisor is. So. And now when we specify that divisor, what SAS is doing is it's calculating the, the estimate using the two negative 1 and negative 1s. And then before it gives us the numbers, it will divide them all by 2. So now when we run this, here's vacuum versus gases when we did fractions. That's the estimate. Here's vacuum versus gases when we multiplied through by 2. That's 2 high. And here's vacuums versus gases for when we specify the divisor was 2. So here's the, here's the take up there. I like doing it like this with the 3, the negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. It's a little bit cleaner for me, and I like cleanliness. And if you do that, feel free to do that. But make sure you specify what the divisor is. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong estimate. And there we are. That's the end of this. It's pretty straightforward. I think it was pretty straightforward. Um, so this is the end of lecture four, the SAS companion.
So hopefully it was helpful. Take care.